friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Monday so that means it is meal prep day. I am back from my trip, I am back to meal prepping and I am really, really, really stoked for this week's recipe. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I do upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I've lost 140 pounds. I highly recommend and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or if you just want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, as well as my Facebook group, come join us there, are all down in that description box. So let's make a breakfast, a lunch, and a sweet treat. For breakfast this week, I'm actually making a savory breakfast muffin. I am so excited about these. They are packed with protein and we're getting in some fruit and vegetables. So let me show you what you'll need. First you're going to need baking powder and baking soda, light butter, spinach you could use frozen or fresh, low fat buttermilk, all purpose flour, salt and pepper. I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. Love these, got these off of Amazon. A couple of eggs, an apple, some light shredded cheese, and then I'm actually subbing turkey breakfast sausage with just ground turkey just to save on points and calories and really get in a good amount of protein. So I'm just going to fry up a pound of ground turkey. So I added my pound of ground turkey to a skillet. I didn't mention, but this is 99% ground turkey and I'm going to allow this to brown. So my ground turkey is browned. So now I'm actually going to add in about three cups of spinach. I went ahead and allowed my spinach to welt down. We're going to remove our ground turkey from the heat and let's put together these breakfast muffins. So to put together the savory breakfast muffins, super easy, I'm going to add two cups of all-purpose flour to a large bowl, two teaspoons of baking powder, and then half of a teaspoon of baking soda, and some salt and pepper. I went ahead and stirred up my dry ingredients to get them incorporated. Now I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of low fat buttermilk, two eggs, and six tablespoons of melted light butter. And then we're going to slowly mix that in. It doesn't have to be fully, fully combined. Then we're actually going to add in our ground sausage spinach mixture, and then my diced up apple, and a cup of light shredded cheese. And now we're going to stir until fully combined. Look at how delicious this mixture looks. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my muffin pan, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 375 degrees. And then using a cookie scoop, I'm going to add the mixture to my sprayed with nonstick cooking spray muffin pan. This is a little bit thicker, denser mixture, so you can pack it into each of the muffin cups. So before our muffins go into the oven, I'm going to sprinkle them with some dried chives. I really wanted fresh chives, but I couldn't find them. Sprouts didn't have them, and Walmart didn't have them. So dried chives, it's going to be, but you don't wanna skip this step. It's really going to add a punch of flavor. And then these are going into our oven for 20 to 25 minutes. So the muffins are out of the oven. These are huge, and they smell so good. It's definitely, a biscuit vibe, which is perfect for breakfast. I plan on pairing one of these with some fruit every day. So let me go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. I've been on my spaceship counting stars since 94. Waiting for someone to come and knock on my door. Looking for someone who'd be the Venus to my Mars. Why does love always have to be this hard? Got me feeling like... So 
you saw that I put together the pork carnitas portion of my lunch in my crock pot. It's got about three hours left, which will work out perfect by the time I finish prepping the rest of my meals for the week. Don't forget that the recipes are on my recipe website. I did kind of speed through putting it all in the crock pot this morning, but we're going to make the rest of our lunch side. So we're going to do a cilantro lime rice, which I'm very excited about, and we're going to make kind of a corn salad. So for the cilantro lime rice, I'm going to go ahead and get my rice going in my little dash rice cooker. Game changer. I love this thing. Even Troy operates this thing flawlessly. It's so easy to make rice. You throw the rice, the water in it, turn it on, and it comes out perfect every time. I bought mine on Amazon, so I'll link it for you. We're going to need some salt, some rice, of course, lots of water, lime juice, garlic powder, and fresh cilantro. So I added one cup of uncooked rice and then two cups of water. Throw the lid on it, turn it on to cook. There's a little switch that says cook and keep warm. I'm gonna flip it to cook, and in about 20 minutes, we'll have perfect rice. We got our rice cooking in the background, but I'm going to put together my corn salad, and this is going to be part of my meal prep. So for the corn salad, you're going to need fresh cilantro. So I did just chop up that entire bundle. Salt and pepper, apple cider vinegar, lime juice, smoked paprika, regular paprika, a can of corn, Kojita cheese and a red onion. So for the corn salad, really easy to put together. So I have a medium sized bowl. I did drain my can of corn. I'm going to add two tablespoons of lime juice, half of a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a couple of tablespoons or so of fresh cilantro, about a third of a cup of really smally diced, small diced up red onion, a third of a cup of the cojita cheese, about a half a teaspoon of paprika and some salt and pepper. Give that a quick mix and I'm going to toss it in the fridge while the pork shoulder is cooking and the rice is finishing cooking. By the way, look how amazing this looks. So my rice is done. It is super duper duper hot, but seriously, look at that perfect rice. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer that from the rice cooker bowl into a medium sized bowl. I'm going to add about a third of a cup of lime juice. You can always add more to taste. A couple teaspoons of garlic powder, salt, and then about a half of a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. And then stir that all together and we have cilantro lime rice made at home, controlling what's in it, nice whole ingredients. And this is going to be the perfect side with the pork carnitas and that amazing corn salad. And there's our cilantro lime rice, also going into the refrigerator until the pork is cooked. So the pork is done. I will tell you that it smells pretty darn amazing. I did use a pork loin rather than a pork butt. It was a lot less fatty, so a lot less points, a lot less calories. So mine isn't going to be as fatty and shred up as easy as if I would have used a butt. It's definitely tender and cooked through. So what I'm going to do is remove this from the crock pot remove the big slab of fat off the back and slice this up, get it into a storage container, and then I'll show you how I'm putting together my pork carnita bowls. So here's what the bowl's going to look like once it's completed. I'm just going to have this for lunch today. So like you saw, I put everything into storage containers and then I took out four ounces of the pork tenderloin, one eighth of the corn, one eighth of the rice. It makes eight servings or eight bowls total. And that's going to be my lunch. That is a great lunch. We've got a carb, veggie, 
lots of protein, lots of flavor. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for the carnita bowls. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making pecan protein bars. I love pecans. I love nuts in general for a good healthy fat. So I'm super excited for these. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need vanilla protein powder. As always, I'm using my Ascent Micellar Protein in vanilla bean. I buy this off of Amazon. It is great for cooking, great for baking. I will link it down below for you. You'll also need all-purpose flour, sweetener of your choice. I have Lakanto granulated. As always, I do have a 15% off discount for Lakanto, so I'll put that in the description as well. Some vanilla and then some pecans, and you'll also need a little bit of water to get the right consistency. So for the pecan protein balls, I'm going to add half of a cup or a little over a scoop of my Ascent protein, basically a heaping scoop, two tablespoons of my Lakanto granulated, and two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, quarter of a cup of chopped pecans, and then set six pecan halves aside, and a couple teaspoons of vanilla. And like I said, we will need some water, probably a couple tablespoons to get the right consistency. Stir that together until you have basically a dough formed. Now I'm going to go ahead and roll these out. The recipe makes six pecan balls. Actually, the recipe says bites. You can do balls or bites. We're gonna do balls, so we want six of those. And then we're going to top each one of our balls with the pecan half. So I like to kind of squish it in and then kind of push the sides up around it so that it will stay in place. So here are the pecan protein balls. These look so good. And that is a huge little snack ball packed with protein. I'm going to pop my lid on. I have these nice glass containers with wood lids. I'm going to throw them into the refrigerator, store them there so that they'll last for the week. But I'll go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. As a reminder, all of today's recipes are on my recipe website. I will link that at the very top of the description box for you. And if you enjoyed another meal prep, give this video a thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.